our glaciers are becoming very, very uh, cost sensitive. What kind of impact do these performance gains and improvements have on operational cost for enterprises using Azure's platform prime? It might be a little bit counterintuitive to think, you know, how is it that a high performance Java platform can reduce cost, right? Because, you know, you don't normally associate those two together. But the equation is actually quite simple. If, if you think about say a Java fleet that's being run in the cloud. And, you know, since most enterprises now are deploying in the cloud and, and most enterprises now also are wrestling with cloud costs, right? And so it's it's a common problem now that we're hearing from from really, you know, any enterprise of significance that, that's deploying in the cloud now is, you know, of course they're getting great benefit in terms of, of flexibility and scalability and availability and resiliency, all those different types of things, huge benefits in the cloud. But, and it's a big but, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they all make nearly 40% gross margins you know, in, those, in, in those businesses. And so as a result, enterprises are paying more to deploy in the cloud than they would you know, on an on-prem or, or a managed uh, outsourced data center. So that's where you know, the, the relevance of, of companies in, in the space of, of you know, working on, on more cost-optimized infrastructure come into play. Their whole practice is now behind this. The practice is called FinOps, and, and there's a, a FinOps uh, organization, finops.org, that talks about you know, best breed practices, you know, how do you go about um, uh, monitoring, managing, maintaining, optimizing applications to be more cost effective in the cloud. So there's a whole ecosystem now that, that's focused on this. So back to the question, why is a high performance Java platform matter in this context? Well, if, if you have an application that's able to run faster, it means that inherently you don't need as much compute infrastructure in the cloud. So an application that you know has some sort of reasonable scale might require 100 compute resources running on AWS to be able to handle the throughput and the volume um, based on the business needs of that application. With no change to the application, simply by swapping out the Coretto JVM or, or the Oracle JVM, simply by changing that and, in, and instead using its old platform prime, that 100 instances might drop to 80, 75, sometimes even less than that. So you get an immediate cost benefit because of course you're you're no longer using as many compute resources in the cloud and so a high performance java platform runs java code faster which means you need less compute infrastructure which ultimately saves money and so that's really how the how you connect you know why is it that a high performance java platform can actually reduce or optimize uh, cloud spend and i was going through some of the latest uh, news coming out of azure and uh, we noticed that you know 